Well, Merry Christmas to everyone. It is December the 25th. This is Monday, and our scripture reading for today is Revelation 6, 7, and 8. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for sending your son to die for us on the cross. We celebrate his birthday today. Well, we don't celebrate all the other things that the world makes it about. We make sure that we focus on you. So, Father, as we seek to do that today, help us to celebrate in our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so some eye-opening um, scripture today. Chapter 6, 7, and 8. And Revelation. So chapter 6 opens up with the opening of the six seals and the corresponding events on earth. So the first four seals have to do with horses and riders. So let's look at those. The first is the rider of a white horse who comes crowned as a conqueror. Peace, he promises there, and but he uses deception for control. In, verse, in uh, the second... Uh, the second seal is a red horse, and the rider is removing peace from the earth, that people should slaughter one another. A large sword was given to him. A third horse is the black horse, and the rider has scales in his hands. War brings famine and pestilence. So the price is given there for basically one meal for a day's pay. So imagine, imagine what that's going to be like. The fourth horse that comes is a pale green horse, and the riders are Death and Hades. And it says 25% uh, of the population of Earth will die. Imagine that for just a moment now. Uh, you know, if our population is 6 billion people on Earth, then 1.5 billion people will die. One out of every four. The fifth seal is broken. And the tribulation martyrs are under the altar there. They are slain for faith in God, and they cry out for justice. But they are given white robes and told to rest or wait patiently. God will avenge them, but their number is not complete yet. In other words, others are going to die. The sixth seal is a great earthquake where the sun and moon go dark. Stars fall from heaven. The sky is divided. Mountains and islands are moved. People run and hide and seek death or a way to avoid the wrath of the Lamb. Chapter 7. There are four angels standing ready to harm the earth, the sea, and the trees. But, in verses 1 through 8, they're commanded to wait until the servants of God are sealed. 12,000 from every tribe of Israel, 144,000 total. Verses 9 and 10, there's a vast multitude worshiping before God's throne, wearing white and waving palm branches. They praise God for His salvation. Verses 11 and 12, the, el the angels, the elders, and 20, the, tw the four living creatures fall before God and worship Him. In verses 13 through 17, an elder asks John, uh, who are they in white robes and where did they come from? John answers and says, Sir, you know. Uh, these saints, he gives the explanation, these saints are coming out of the tribulation who have suffered for Christ. They suffered hunger, thirst, scorching heat, and no shelter. And Jesus will shepherd them, giving them water, the waters of life and wiping away all the tears from their eyes. In chapter 8, the seventh seal is revealed. In verse 1, it says there's silence in heaven for about 30 minutes. Now, some have told the joke that there can't be any women in heaven because they couldn't be silent for 30 minutes. That's just a joke, and I, and I wouldn't uh, imagine that. Uh, verse 2, seven angels are given seven trumpets, and these trumpets are judgments that are about to sound. So verses 3 and 4, Another angel is given an incense burner with much incense to burn with the prayers of the saints as a pleasing aroma in the presence of God. In verse 5, this angel throws the incense burner to the earth full of fire from the altar, and there was thunder, rumbling, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Verses 6 through 13 is the first trumpet, the first four trumpet uh, judgments. Verse 7. Uh, the first trumpet is hail and fire and blood. 
and one third of the earth was burned up, the trees and the grass. Verses 8 and 9 give us the second trumpet. A great mountain ablaze with fire is thrown into the sea. One third of the sea becomes blood. One third of the sea, uh, the living things in the sea die. And one third of the ships are destroyed. In verse 10, the third trumpet is wormwood, a blazing fire, a blazing star, falls on the rivers of, and springs of water, making them bitter. And many people die due to contaminated water. Verse 12, the fourth trumpet is one third of the sun, moon, and stars are darkened, so a third of the day and night are also darkened. And in verse 13, a, a great eagle cries out, Woe to those who live on earth because of the remaining trumpet blasts that are about to sound. So how awful, and it's getting worse. So um, be ready. Uh, make your reservation in heaven before tribulation comes. Be saved from this, um, the wrath to come. The thought for today is every day, praise the Lord for who he is and what he has done for you. God bless you. Have a great day.